everybody. Welcome to Knit 56. This is a podcast about knitting. And my name is Sean Glidden. And I'm going to show you some of the things I've been working on. Some of the things I've finished. Some of the things I've started. I have a giveaway. I'm giving away these two books. And I've used Random Generator to pick two names of people that responded to my question. And I have lots of new things that I've started. I'm so excited. It's a big day. Oh, and where is it? I have a new pattern release with a coupon code for Ravelry. So stay tuned for that if you want to get a discount on one of my patterns. But first, I'm going to show you one of the things I've finished. And here it is. This is called Miss Grace shawl and it's a pattern on you can find on Ravelry as Miss Grace and it uses all these short rows to make these funny these elegant I should say shaped leaves and it's very big oh yes there you go so I really love it and now that it's getting down into the 50s in the evenings 50 degrees or less or between 50 and 60 it's great to wrap around my shoulders. I love it. I love, 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 love it. It's exactly what I wanted. I still have a lot of peace fleece left. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, but look at that. Isn't that fun? Look at all that color. This is a really fun pattern. I'm so glad I decided to do it. I'm going to pause for a minute. Okay, I'm back. This little section is take two because when I was uploading the video podcast to my phone or to my computer to edit, I realized mm, for some reason I hadn't recorded a 10 minute section. Hold on again. There's another plane. And um, I'll insert a picture here of Gary's sweater, but I can't. The work. It's in a bucket of water because when I... As soon as I was done, I went and put the sweater in water so that I could block it. But I made it out of the charcoal color of Harrisville Highland Worsted. And it's a really great fiber. I had a lot of fun working with it. It's not coming into focus. Um, one of the things I talked about with this sweater, and which I'm going to talk about with my mitts, is um, that knitted items don't need to look good when they're not on the person. For instance, my sweater for Gary is got has a 56, 56 inch around his belly, but from here to here is very small, and his from his underarm measurement is only 48 inches. So I had to do this huge decrease to uh, make it fit him. And I realized when I watched after measuring him and I'd look at his clothing and it would fit around his belly, but everything here was loose and baggy. He always had extra fabric under his arms. So hopefully my sweater will work for him. And um, it's gonna be great. And I'm going to make me one out of uh, this yarn. I just did a little section to kind of get a gauge and see how it knits up. But this is moon cake. Oh, hold on again. Lots of planes today. Um, and then the other thing that got bleeped out, I don't know why it didn't record, were these mitts. I knit this out of, it's a, the black is um, Black Mountain Welsh. Welsh Black Mountain sheep. Of course, I put the label away now. Um, and the interesting, there's two interesting things about these mitts. It's from, it's Minnesota yarn. I'm so happy about that. But if you notice, this chevron pattern is the same. The pattern is the same as this. However, I didn't change anything. It's the same number of stitches. Um, this has got a few extra repeats because of the thumb gusset, but basically the pattern is the same. And you want to know what's different? The small one 
I used both fingers, both hands for carrying yarn. I had the pattern, the green in my left and the black in my right, and it knit at a tighter gauge. This one I threw both the colors with my right hand. And it, it doesn't, you know, neither one is better or worse than the other. But it's good to know that I knit tighter when I carry my color work in two separate hands because it gives me a different tension. I mean, look how much different it is. Those look so much bigger than that. And it's just because of how I held the yarn. So interesting. The other interesting thing about these mitts is, look at the shape. Ha! Ah, they look silly. When they're not on my hand, they look so silly. And part of it is because of this gusset right here. Whenever I knit mittens, I add a little gusset because my hand doesn't, like my thumb doesn't come out of my hand just like that. Just right out of the side of my hand. It's got this little, I can't even, you know. Anyway, it's got this little area right here. So I usually put um, a gusset in my mittens. And it's it could be, it's usually, see I think this is six or seven stitches that I just decrease right away when I'm knitting in the round. This is a 1-1 rib, which is why it kind of sucks in like that and looks silly. And I have a fairly wide hand. and So they look silly. They look totally silly. But when I put them on, they, they're lovely, lovely, lovely. And they fit me just right. So the same as Gary's sweater. It doesn't matter how they look when it's not on the body. It's on the body that counts. Okay, and then the next thing I started talking about was the prize winners for my giveaway. And I asked a question that people responded to on my Knit 56 podcast on Ravelry. And the, quote, the thread was, do you prefer working from paper or from electronic device? And most of the people, six out of seven, <laughs> said uh, paper. And one person said they used to love paper and now they love their electronic device and they use an iPad and a, a computer and they love it. And I think I could see making that switch. The problem is, is that when I was working on my Miss Grace shawl, I had the pattern on my iPad, but then I would be watching knitting podcasts on my iPad as I was knitting and I had to keep stopping and going back and finding the pattern. So I was writing little notes on paper anyway. So I um, would probably need to get a different device to watch my videos on before I totally convert to using just my iPad for patterns. Anyway, the first winner was Got Tash on Ravelry, G-O-T-T-A-S-T-C-H, or something like that. Kathy from Prior Lake. So Kathy, if you would e um, personal message me on Ravelry, your mailing address, I will get out your book to you. And you'll see the rest of this message in the part of the video that kept working. So Kathy from Prior Lake got Tash please PM me your mailing address and I, and I will get this out to you. The second winner is Minnesota Holtz. Leslie wins the classic gloves and mittens. Now this is a well-loved little booklet. It's kind of beaten up, but you can still read the patterns just fine. So once again, Leslie, or Minnesota Holtz, will you please personal message me your mailing address and I will put this in the mail to you. So congratulations to the winners. I have an idea for another giveaway that I will talk about next time. I'm not quite decided yet, but all right, we're moving right through this. Now I have released my pattern for A Quiet Walk. Here it is in Madeline Tosh. And the first one I did was in a yarn from Rovings, which is a yarn producer in Canada. And I used a Polworth silk. And it was a little bit finer than this. And I ended up using 
almost 500 yards. And so that's what the, I wrote the pattern from. Then myself and my testers used other yarns. And this is a Madeline Tosh, Tosh Merino Light. And this, it says, has about 420 yards in the skein. And I did not have enough to finish. So if you're going to use less than, if you're going to use around 400 yards of fiber, I would say you just need to not work six rows, three, um, eight rows, four here and four here, and then you would have enough to finish the pattern. But it's a pretty easy repeat. You could make it, the make, you could make the whole scarf longer or shorter or taller. It's a little uh, twisted one stitch crossing cable pattern and so great. So for you who are listening, you few who I really appreciate who come back and listen to my goofy self talk can get a 20% discount on this pattern on Ravelry. So when you go to buy it for two weeks, you can use the pattern code quiet walk one word. Q-U-I-E-T-W-A-L-K, Quiet Walk, and that will get you a 20% discount on this pattern from now until October 17th. Yay! So have fun. Go um, tell your friends. Yay, okay. Next. What am I working on? I'll tell you, I got some fun things going on. I still haven't worked on my Shackleton white winter jackets. I showed that in the first or maybe first two podcasts and um, gosh, I just haven't gotten back to it. I, I guess if I were Shackleton, I'd be off scavenging for, for food, for stamina to get back to it, back to the ship, back to the work. Um, yeah, I want to have it done by Dece the first weekend in December. That is my goal. And I'm so close. Okay, so I'm not going to talk about that anymore. But I bought this lovely linen when I was in Germany. And it's a little bit brighter in the sun coming in my window than it is in true life. But it's a little bit, it's really slick. And um, it's kind of heavy. And I, I wasn't quite sure what to do with it because I know it will stretch. So I'm making a shawl with this nice slip stitch texture and both sides are the same. It's worked in garter stitch with the slip stitch pattern and I am really loving it. It's got a little, what's not the edge, a little like I-cord edge to kind of help hold its shape. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. It's going to be like a long not very deep, kind of shallow, long. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do on the edge. I might open it up a little bit so that it's a little bit lacier. But I really like having it the same on both sides. And so far, this is the same on both sides. So. Here's my pattern. Ha, ha, ha. Um, yeah, we'll see how that turns out. I like knitting it. My hands get a little tired because of the uh, slipperiness of the cotton, or of the linen, I mean. But it's really beautiful fiber, and I love the color. That I'm working on. And one more thing. I went to an event called the Great American wool festival sponsored by two local yarn shops the yarnery and darn knits one is in st uh, the yarnery is in st paul they have a great variety of yarns and darn knits is a yarn shop in stillwater which is about 30 minutes from my house and i have never been there but i'm on their uh, newsletter list and i read about what they have going on all the time so there's both yarn stores were there selling their quince and co yarns and I picked up enough to do a color work pattern in chickadee and oh my gosh I worked I didn't bring my sample down that I worked up I worked up a little sample looks like a sleeve hmm. I don't know where it is and I washed it 
or you know I soaked it and then let it dry and this yarn is so scrumptious it's round and squishy and um, it's really lovely to work with oh my gosh I am loving it so I started with a provisional cast on for the neck which I haven't sewn down yet and I started this lovely pattern so there's that tulip pattern which I'm repeating again here only right side up a little flower in the middle and then the majority of it is going to be in this lovely blue color oh I love this color I love wearing this color and this is uh, what do they call this color river so I treated myself to some chickadee by Quince and Co and I think I'm gonna have enough left to make a hat a matching hat or a pair of mittens or something so that is my new project and I am loving it so this is gonna be for me um, yeah look at this little tulip pattern isn't that just slice isn't that great right here it's upside down but I'm gonna do it right side up okay so that's what I'm working on then I'm gonna start a textured sweater out of my moon glow or moon whatever this is what do they call it oh moon cake yarn which that would look good on me too oh it's fall it's time to knit I'm so excited so that's all I have to say today thanks for joining me thanks for hanging out in my studio with me um, yeah I guess uh, Next time, I'll have the details worked out for my other giveaway, and happy knitting, everyone. You can find me on Ravelry as Lulu Gal. You can find my website at acmeknits.com. Uh, you can find me on Instagram as Sean Glidden. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.